Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your Antec 6022BE device to your computer and to use it with LabVIEW as oscilloscope and as a spectrum analyzer. Let's go on this website, you will find the link in the comment of this video and download these three files htmarch.dll huntexcop2.ve and the labview.ve I've already done it and download driver from this from this folder or from the original website huntex.com Now let's open labview.ve and uh, you will find this interface. Now if we click connect in the oscilloscope to the computer and click in this button, we'll be able to view the input to our oscilloscope. I've connected it to my smartphone with a jack of 3.5mm uh, um, and um, with a signal generator I've generated a sine wave of 5kHz as you can see now ok so downloaded these files you will be able to use the oscilloscope with LabVIEW very easily. Let's see now how to add the, the uh, spectrum analyzer function. Right click in the empty space, graph and waveform graph. Let's resize it. OK. Now, window, show block diagram. Now you don't need to understand what does, uh, what do this block do. But you have to understand that you have added this block with the last uh, action let's take and uh, put it inside the frame and now right click in the empty space express signal analysis distortion let's put it here select Okay. Uh, select power spectrum and linear. Now, okay. Connect the input to the first channel or to the second one, as you want, and connect the output to the input of the waveform graph in, uh, block. Now, let's run it, right click here, deselect auto scale X and auto scale Y, and now we'll be able to see that here we have a pulse uh, associated to the 5 kHz sine wave red. If we um, increase the frequency of the sine wave, 
we see that there is a change in the plot. Now we have 10 kilohertz. Okay, 10 kilohertz. So we have understood that this is 10 kilohertz and this is 5 kilohertz. So let's correct the scale of the x axis. Right click on waveform graph, create. property node and x scale offset and multiplier multiplier left click here in the empty space now right click on the pink line select change all to right To read sorry and uh, connect and now right click in the empty space uh, numeric let's add a numeric constant block here connect it to the input of this block and right here 1 million now As you can see, we have corrected the mistake. 10 kilohertz. Let's go to 5 kilohertz. Okay, 5 kilohertz. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you to the next video.